What we do sometimes is telephone. Should we call someone? Uh, if you want, sure, it's your show. So. We'll call a mayoral candidate. Oh. Is John Byers there? Hey, Joe, how are you? Say hi to Kevin Russo. He lives in Medford. Ah, oh, really? I, yeah, I got you right now. How are you, my friend? Good. So, um, when's the game starting? Well, the game's on right now, and the Red Sox have already taken a one nothing lead. And Good. They need this win more than ever because the Yankees absolutely hammered the, uh, the Ray... The hey, Johnny, turn down your volume. Yeah. That's called feedback. I'm the quite A's familiar with it. Oh, absolutely yeah. Absolutely hammered the uh, Oakland A's after the Oakland A's took a 7 nothing lead. Three slant grams. What? Three grand slams, yeah. right. Three slant grams. Well, it's a major league record for one game. See, I really hope that they make it off this year. Like, well, it's been a while. I, 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 this, uh, this, this division is going to come down to the Yankees or the Red Sox, and I think the West is going to come down to the Angels and the Rangers. And to, to tell you the truth, I would rather see us get the Rangers, the Angels than the Rangers. But we'll know tomorrow night if Irene doesn't get in the way. Oh, no, no, no. That's the other news of the day. There's going to be, uh, there's going to be no game on Sunday. They will play a split doubleheader on Saturday at noontime, and then the second game will begin at 5 p.m. Buy your batteries before Sunday. Yeah, well, I'll be, I'll be ready. Don't worry. They're telling everyone to buy batteries and flashlights. Too. Yeah. I, you know, I have everything. I have everything all set for that problem. Uh, there were lines out the door at a, uh, at, a, uh, at a Home Depot in Connecticut for, uh, for generators. Oh, they love this stuff. They love this stuff. They, it's like uh, snowstorms, you know? The thought of a snowstorm sells product. Yeah. So, did you read the Medford transcript today? Uh, no, I didn't. Anthony D'Antonio has... Um, uh, John, I'm a little disappointed. He has more space than you have. I'm surprised. Well, they gave more space, so um, if you read your email, you'll see I wrote to the editor, which I'm sure won't make me uh, very popular, but i got to say my mind. It's like, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, they, they screwed up my interview to begin with, and then, and then uh, I had a call to get them to correct it, and now they're giving, they're giving I, don't, I don't fault them for giving Tony more ink, but I mean, it's just the fact that they're going to be fair if they're going to give, if they're going to give oh. Tony ink. I think the mayor's going to get more ink than any of them. I think oh. they're going to give the mayor two pages, you know? Joe, why shouldn't we be surprised? Do we have to, do we have to be reminded that the mayor owns the access station down here in Medford? He, he got, he got a, uh, he got a, a cleverly veiled ad congratulating the city on its, uh, success in the, uh, the recycling that we do, but how convenient that it just happens to be during an election cycle. Do you hear the sounds I'm hearing? It's like, uh, oh, yeah, that's my phone. Right oh, here. it's your phone. I thought it was my phone. I'm saying that's my phone feeding back from the uh, all the visual vibes. <laughs> and and so we shouldn't be surprised at that. I know you you were busy uh, last week picketing City Hall. I picketed on Monday. I had a big picket sign. Mayor dishonest about TV3. I had a big sign up, and I was walking around. A hundred percent of the people who saw me, they were beeping the horns at me. They were waving. They, they, they don't like this mayor. I mean, I could feel the level of animosity, and they were happy someone was out there protesting him. That is well, pretty I'll, heavy. I'll tell you, since, since my article ran in the newspaper, I've been getting calls on my phone because I, I listed my phone number and my email address. I haven't received any emails yet from people, but I've been getting, getting calls from vo the voters, and oh. it, it's, uh, it, it's all in the positive that people are fed up and sick of McGlynn. They want him out, and they, whether it's me or Tony, they're going to back us 100% because it's time for change in the city of Medford. All right, Johnny Byers. Well, thank you. We might call you back a little later. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. I'll be waiting. Bye-bye. So uh, that's cool. He's a, he's a regular. I don't know if you know that. Mm -hmm. He calls in like yeah. almost weekly. And uh, but I Jeff, do. Hmm? But I do have friends that are in Medford too. So ah. that's cool. 
Jeff Dearman's our director tonight. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, Dan was here a little earlier, and Anthony and Joe LaRocca did the wonderful show. And if for, you, for anyone tuning in, oh, I like that. Did you do that, Jeff? Put a thumbs up. That is really nice. Visual radio, I like that. I've been visualized. <laughs> uh, Makes you feel special, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's just great when you have a team. It's such good people here. Oh, I know. Um, you know. It's fun. Yeah. And you learn so much. Yeah, you had orientation last night. Yeah. How did that go? It went good.